Well, we are looking for something very, 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 very important that is critical, yes, critical, to the success of today's YouTube video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. I'm looking for my toy car collection and not, not that toy car collection, I got another toy car collection. No, no, oh, I know where it is, I know where it is. I have a very important metaphor that I want to explain to you guys using a Lamborghini, my Lamborghini, see. I knew I had a Jeep somewhere. Now you're gonna have to use your imagination just a little bit, so work with me. You have a Jeep, you also have a Lamborghini. However, you only have, you got one car. Yeah? No? No. Why do they not get it? You have a Jeep, you have a Lamborghini, it makes sense. You have one car, you have a Jeep, you have- You got one car! No? But it's the same car. It's the same car. I realize I'm not explaining this very well. Let me try again. You got one car, it's a Jeep. It's a Lamborghini. It's a Jeep. It's a Lamborghini. It's a Jeep. It's, it's the same car. It's the Jeep Regini. You get it, right? It's a Jeep Regini. I just took way too long to try to explain that to you guys. However, on this video, I said I made a promise to you guys. If we got 99,999 likes, I would buy something very, very specific. I never snake you guys. You guys smash the like button. I have bought... Maybe the, maybe the most remarkable purchase of my entire life. I have bought the Jeep Regini. Now the Jeep Regini is being delivered from Kansas here to Utah. It's about an hour that way. We gotta drive up to the mountaintop to take official delivery of the car, the truck, the Jeep. I don't know what it is. But on that bombshell, I'm excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by my homies over at Vero. Now I've told you guys about Vero a couple times in the last couple months and the car community is blowing up. Now if you're not on Vero yet, it's no biggie because you can actually download Vero for free. Check out the link in the description below. Join me on Vero. Give me a follow. My username is at the Stradman. I've been posting a ton of behind the scenes exclusive content and I think you guys have been loving it. Vero's just super refreshing because there's no ads and there's no algorithm. Now here on Vero, I'm posting a ton of really cool interactive engaging content. You guys know Mobetis is my favorite restaurant in the state of Utah. If you ever come here, you gotta go. But then also there's a lot of content that just never makes a YouTube channel. I'm driving the Countach one night and I bump into a random 6x6 Gladiator from Louisiana. Insane sunset with that Aventador SV. Obviously a ton of updates on the carbon fiber Aventador. But then also, I love interactive and engaging with you guys on the garage floor. Do I go with a polished concrete? Do I do an epoxy? Do I do a high-end tile? I love getting your guys' feedback. Also, the quality on Vero, photos and videos are such high resolution. I mean, this photo of the Aventador and the Veyron is top notch. Now, yesterday I stopped by Envision to check out the progress on my carbon fiber Aventador and I took some photos and those photos are going live as soon as this video drops. The carbon fiber front bumper, the carbon fiber front fenders, the carbon fiber rear fenders, as well as the carbon fiber hood and the carbon fiber rear your deck lid are all installed. The car's looking absolutely crazy and those photos are dropping as soon as this video goes live. Check me out on Vero. I also post other cool things like my favorite restaurant being Mobetas, but then also what kind of music do I like to listen to? I truly think you're gonna love it on Vero. Check out the link in the description below and join me on Vero. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, this came from Kansas. I haven't quite seen it yet. I only own 50% of it. So my buddy Damon and I, we bought it together. I really wanted it, he really wanted it. We decided to split it. Pretty sure we're at the right place, bro. I cannot wait. I can't believe you brought this in the Bronx. I had no idea where we were going. You didn't tell me. You should have left it up there. Man. Nah, it's all right. It'll be okay. It's okay. I guess we're like co-parents now. Yeah, right? Joint custody. Uh, I think so. Now I want to say the year was 2017 and I had two cars, a Lamborghini Gallardo and a Jeep Wrangler and it never dawned on me why wouldn't I consolidate, why have two cars when I could have one car, I'd have half the car payments and I'd pay half the insurance. It's right in there, I've seen it, I took a look at it. Honestly it is more impressive than I ever imagined. Now today is also a really really special day, today is Father's Day. I want to shout out my dad, I miss him, I love him. I know there's a lot of people watching today's video that have lost their father, I can definitely empathize with the loss. I miss my dad so, so, so much. Uh, but also happy Father's Day to all the fathers watching today's video. Oh, he would beat my dad. If my dad saw the Jeep Regini, I can only imagine his reaction. I'm trying to figure out the words to describe this incredible purchase that we have made. When I think about the purchases I have made in my life, this is the greatest one of all time. She is so much better than I ever could have imagined. Introducing for the first time, the incredible Jeep Regini. Obviously we saw the photos online, we had no idea what it's gonna look like. Dad, if we could get just a couple baby revs. Yeah. She purrs like a kid. Is that a V12? V12. That actually sounds incredible, proper V12. V12. Yeah, V12. So I believe V12, sure. this is a 99 VT Roadster maybe, but this thing is one piece of machinery. 5.7 liter? 5.7 liter V12, yeah, 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 yeah. The doors go up, the only problem is they're a little bit flimsy, so Dan is just climbing out the easy way. The fin finish inside 
is not like the worst I've ever seen. So it's a Jeep Liberty and then obviously a Diablo. From the back too, I think this might be my favorite angle. Street legality. It's 100% street legal, right? Hundred percent, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice Lex and windshield right no, here. No There's no license plate. There's no registration whatsoever. This seat is just kind of sort of wobbly. Is there a horn? Oh, to the legend who built this thing, I don't know who you are or where you're from. So we bought it from a guy in Kansas, but he didn't build it. He bought it from somebody else. How many guys does it take to open up the door on the Jeep Regini? Honestly, this is what the Urus should have been. This should have been like the Urus. Lamborghini needs to build a proper SUV or like the Storado. So you can see all the internals are straight Jeep Liberty. This thing is sick. I think we should take it for a test drive. You got drive. the roll cage. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so we actually already started customizing it. You can see it kind of back here. It's a salt, well, it's not solid yet. Not the roll yet. cage is not bolted down yet, but when we take it to Moab, that's right. We're taking this baby to Moab. I mean, when I really think about the cool cars I've filmed on the channel, Koenigsegg Aguero RS, Lamborghini Veneno, Pagani Wire, Pagani Zonda, I think Jeep Burgini is like definitely right on up there. It is a true unicorn, a true one of one. Oh, oh, I literally just took the roll bar in the head, which is why we have this installed, is so that we, we protect our noggins. Sorry about that. What are you sitting on right now? Are you sitting on? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this thing has been tack welded together. Like there are rattles everywhere. I do not trust this thing. This is the dash right here. There's no windshield wipers, and of course, it's starting to rain. We got blinkers though, because I think this thing was sitting in a barn for a long time. There's dust flying everywhere. I cannot see, and the A pillar is just shaking like the airbag warning light is on. So, theoretically, we have some form of safety right now. She has some gumption. <laughs> Expectations were pretty low when we bought the Jeep Burgini, but which is not bad. We got a V6, I want to say probably like, that's I don't know, 200. Station. Wait, police station right yeah, there? The oh station. gosh. So we're going to make this a very, very quick test drive because as far as the legalities of driving this thing on the public road, I'm not entirely sure what that is. So Damon thinks there might be a cop right by, there's no way. Are you kidding? We just, we just got on the I road. Think, I think one car behind us. I cannot get over how good this thing sounds. Obviously it's not a V12, it's some kind of V6, but she sounds so good. Not a lot of torque, not a lot of power, but sounds sounds right. Are we good? Yeah, he's, uh, I think there's one car. No way, really? Yep. We definitely have confirmed there is a cop right now. Um, there, we, we don't have a license plate oh, on it. Are, are you they're serious? Yep. Are they actually? Yep. They're oh gosh. Um, I don't even have a seat. You have, I don't even have a driver's know. license. Oh my, are you kidding me? So we are being pulled over the <laughs> Jeep. <laughs> Should I pull into the slot maybe? No, we'll just leave right here. Um, We're actually being pulled over right now. Um, hey guys, how's it going? What do you even call this thing? Uh, it is a Jeep or Gini. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I stopped you because I don't see a license plate of any sort. So we we just bought it, okay. and I guess we're going on like I don't know a little test drive right now. Okay. Do we you have any sort of registration or anything like that? Um. Uh, no. It's a it's a unicorn. Yeah. It's the only one in the world, I'm pretty sure. Probably. Why a Jeep or Gini? Like, obviously it's a Lamborghini, but like, Well, why so it's, it's, a, it's a Jeep, I mean, you can see on the steering wheel. Oh, okay. So it's a Jeep Liberty, and then they took the body off, and they put a Lamborghini Diablo on top. And we, we just bought it. Yeah. So it just, it just arrived from Kansas. Yeah. Okay. All right, hang tight just a second, okay? Okay, okay. Thanks. thank you. You're welcome. I don't think she realized that I don't have the seat. I don't think so. She didn't notice the seatbelt either. She could barely see over the door, so I think uh, she didn't see much <laughs> inside the truck. I'm not entirely sure exactly. Um, she I seems no she seems cool, though. Yeah, she seems very She cool. seems like, I don't know. Like I said, I don't think she can see inside the car, so I don't think right. she noticed that. That you're sitting on a 2x4 right now? Yeah, we don't have seatbelts, we're being whacked in the head by a roll cage that's not. That's so dangerous. <laughs> All right, man. So here's this back for you. I can see okay. that your license has been insured. Just keep in mind, though, that we can technically impound the car because okay. the, there's no proof of registration or that we don't want to have to do that. So just make sure you get it registered. Okay. Get yeah. Get all the okay. documentation. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. Definitely. All Thank right. you. Sorry. Yeah. We just we just got it. We were super excited. Yeah. And I know we shouldn't have, but like. I get it. Yeah. yeah. You get excited when you get your new toy. I'm sure. I mean, yeah. it's quite the toy. So. <laughs> it's quite the toy. <laughs> it's quite the toy. Okay. Well, we'll just take it right back. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Awesome. Thank you. Watching this thing on the road is so funny because it's so flimsy. Like at any given moment something is going to fall off and it's so 
good. Now, obviously, we got to make some upgrades here very, very soon. It needs a proper windshield. It needs seat belts, proper seats, too. But overall, not bad. And check that out. The blinkers function, too. Best purchase I've ever made in my entire life right there. Bro, sell the 6.0. You don't need any other real Lamborghinis. I do like the color better. Dude, the color is amazing. I'm pretty sure it's proper Verde Ithaca. What is it? Verde Ithaca. I think so too. Yeah. I don't think the camera's picking it up right now. Every single body panel on that thing is rattling like crazy. At any given moment, a door's gonna fall off, the wing's gonna fall off, the suspension is gonna break. But uh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Jeep Regini. As far as the towing capacity, I'm not entirely sure if I trust this thing whatsoever. We have a lot more to come with this thing. We gotta kinda sorta clean it up. We need a glass windshield, we need seat belts, we need seats as well. We wanna take this to Moab, but as is, I do not trust that thing with my life. So, yeah, more to come on the Jeeper Gini. Well, I was planning on driving the Jeeper Gini a whole lot more than that, but after getting pulled over, no license plates, unfortunately it was a short-lived drive. We gotta get that baby registered, we gotta get her insured, and then back on the road. But man, we stole that thing. I can't get over how crazy it looks. Like, proportionally speaking, that thing looks identical to a Diablo. I hope I don't get in trouble. Like, I truly hope I don't get in trouble. I know the Jeep executives aren't gonna care, but the Lamborghini executives, I hope they find the funny as well. Maybe not. It's no Jeep Rikini, but she still sounds good. Go! As I was driving down the mountain, I had a moment to think more about the Jeep Rikini. That thing's sick. It is so cool. It's like a buy one, get one free. It is a two for one. You have the off-road ruggedness of a Jeep. You have the aesthetic of a Lamborghini. Imagine if Lamborghini actually built like an actual Jeep Rikini. Like the Urus, it's kind of like a mall crawler. You can't really take it. I took it to Hell's Revenge. I made it 15 feet off to the trail before high centering myself. But imagine an actual capable off-road Lamborghini that had the design elements of a Diablo. That'd be sick. I also got a shout out my homies over at Sea Boys TV. They also own a fake Lamborghini that is also Diablo based, that is also green. So maybe someday, one day, maybe we get the two together and, and do what you do when you have a fake Lamborghini, which might involve getting sued. More to come on that. But on that bombshell today's video, I don't know, like honestly, I don't know what Lamborghini actually thinks of this. It's an older style car, but it's like the proportions I gotta get a Diablo, like a real Diablo mixture of the Jeep Burgini because they're one and the same. It's incredible. Today's video is over.